was one of the worst environmental disasters in American history, and it happened right here in our own backyard. It's now been 35 years since the emergency declaration at Love Canal, the infamous neighborhood in Niagara Falls, became the center of a crusade against toxic waste. And the housewife who you see here, who spearheaded this nationwide mission, has returned to where those homes once stood. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg joins us live from Niagara Falls. Good afternoon, Rich. Good afternoon, and you know, it's not quite over yet. Uh, this is a rather bizarre situation 35 years later. I remember covering it 35 years ago. Um, after the disaster, people were told that the chemicals were contained and it was safe to move back here, and hundreds of families did just that. Well, that brings us to this morning. This morning, Lois Gibbs, who led the three-year fight to have residents evacuated from the Love Canal neighborhood, returned for a walking tour of the area, where some 20,000 tons of toxic waste were buried. 35 years ago, it was a battle that led to a state of emergency here at Love Canal and the eventual evacuation of over 800 families. Now, many residents had health disorders back then and they attributed that to chemicals seeping into their homes and their neighborhood. Well now, families that moved into this uh, same neighborhood, they were told that it was safe, say that they are suffering from major health disorders like the family of Keith Boos. There my, there my family breathes every day is contaminated and life-threatening. My family has been affected by the contaminants in our home emotionally, physically, and mentally. I mean, we said it so many times, don't bring people back here. Just don't bring them back here. And, and they did. And they bamboozled them into believing it was safe and gave them the data and God knows what else these folks got. And, yep. and they innocently okay. went in and bought what I bought 35 years ago, the American dream. So now there's a $113 million lawsuit filed claiming that Love Canal may be leaking and harming people here. We're going to have uh, relive what happened 35 years ago and bring you back up to date with many more details tonight at 5 and 6 and on our website at WIVB.com. Reporting live in the falls, Rich Newberg, News 4 at noon.